might end up on top. But they don't get any more outs. Suspect is armed! He goes down! In this video, we're counting down 12 new movies coming to streaming in September. For more movies and show recommendations, check out the description below. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Boy Kills World At number 12, Boy Kills World delivers one of the most brutal action films of the year, premiering on Hulu on September 13th. Set in a chaotic, dystopian world where absurdity meets intense action, the story follows Boy, played by Bill Skarsgård. After witnessing the brutal culling that wiped out his family, he sets out on a mission for revenge. Trained in martial arts by the shaman, Yayan Ruhian, Boy joins forces with a resistance group to take down an oppressive regime. While the storytelling can be a bit confusing and some fight scenes feel shaky, the mix of gory action and dark humor keeps it engaging. Skarsgård shines in his role, but it's the intense action that truly steals the show. Boy Kill's world might not be perfect, but for action fans, its wild, genre-blending approach offers an entertaining ride. Civil War With liberty and justice for all. At number 11 on our list is the brilliant anti-war film Civil War, which is set to make its streaming debut on Max on September 13th. It's directed by Alex Garland, who also brought us Ex Machina in 2014 and Annihilation in 2018. With a solid IMDb rating of 7.1 and an 81% score on Rotten Tomatoes, this film is set to stream on Max starting September 13th. Civil War offers a thought-provoking look at a modern-day civil war in the U.S. The story follows a team of journalists as they journey across a country engulfed in chaos. It documents the journalists' struggle to survive in a near future, where the government has become a dystopian dictatorship and partisan extremist militias regularly commit war crimes. Civil War features an anti-war message without excessive gore or violence, perfectly capturing the dehumanizing effects of conflict. Wolves. At number 10, Wolves is a stylish action comedy set to premiere on Apple TV Plus on September 27th. The film stars George Clooney and Brad Pitt as rival fixers, both called to handle a situation at a luxury hotel. Clooney's character is helping a district attorney cover up an accident when Pitt's character, sent by the hotel owner, unexpectedly shows up. Forced to work together, their ongoing rivalry sparks a humorous back and forth. Directed by John Watts, the film's witty banter and clever moments will remind you of their chemistry from Ocean's Eleven. Killer Heat at number 9, Killer Heat is coming to Prime Video on September 26th, starring Richard Madden and Shailene Woodley. Based on Joe Nesbu's short story, The Jealousy Man, the film follows Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Nick Bailey, a private eye living in Greece. Nick is hired to investigate the suspicious death of Leo Vardakis, a young shipping magnate played by Richard Madden. Set against the stunning backdrop of Crete, Nick soon realizes Leo's death wasn't an accident. As he digs deeper, he finds himself tangled in the dangerous secrets of the powerful Vardakis family, where jealousy and betrayal lurk around every corner the boy and the heron back now my friend No matter what. At number 8, The Boy and the Heron is one of the highest grossing Japanese films from last year, and it's set to premiere on September 6th on Max. Directed by the legendary Hayao Miyazaki, this beautifully crafted fantasy tells the story of 12-year-old Mahito, who is grappling with the loss of his mother during World War II. The film blends fantasy with autobiographical elements, creating a dreamlike world full of magical creatures. Let's go! We must protect this world ourselves. Go back! The Boy and the Heron delivers beautiful animation, a mesmerizing soundtrack, and a touching, heartfelt message, making it a unique and meaningful addition to Miyazaki's impressive body of work. Rebel Ridge. Back up. It's gotten out of hand. 
we're getting hurt now. Number 7, Rebel Ridge, premiered on Netflix on September 6th and quickly became a massive hit. After a string of disappointing releases, Netflix finally delivered with this film, earning positive reviews. It boasts a 7 on IMDb and an incredible 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. This film stars Aaron Pierre as Terry Richmond, an ex-Marine caught in a battle against systemic corruption in the small town of Shelby Springs. When Terry tries to post bail for his cousin, he finds himself in a violent standoff with the town's police chief, Sandy Byrne. I end up on top, but they don't get any more out. Suspect is armed! He it all starts when a local officer unjustly seizes Terry's money, setting off a chain of events that forces him to use his combat training to take on the corrupt police force. Challengers. Number 6, Challengers is the best romantic and highest rated film of its kind, making its streaming debut on Prime Video on September 19th, starring Zendaya, with a solid IMDb rating of 7.2 and an 88% score on Rotten Tomatoes. This film runs for 131 minutes and features timeline jumps that may be a bit much for some. However, it shines with magnetic performances and stylish presentation. This drama romance sports mix follows Tashi, a former tennis prodigy turned coach who trains her husband, a champion struggling with a losing streak. Good camera, little white boys. I assume you planned this? Not this part. Things heat up when her husband faces off in a challenger event against Tashi's ex-boyfriend, creating a complicated love triangle and reigniting old rivalries both on and off the court. With exceptional direction, a gripping script, captivating music, and standout performances, Challengers is well worth a watch. I saw the TV glow. myself I made the right choice. At number 5, I Saw the TV Glow is one of the most innovative and groundbreaking horror movies of this year. It will make its streaming debut on Max on September 20th. This innovative horror thriller follows Owen, a troubled high schooler, and Maddie, a mysterious and rebellious girl, obsessed with a fictional TV show, The Pink Opaque, which features two girls battling supernatural forces. Owen and Maddie embark on a dark and surreal journey as their lives intertwine with the show's eerie narrative. Maddie disappeared without a trace. All they found was her TV set. The film stands out for its haunting atmosphere and emotional depth. Blending nostalgia with unsettling themes, it creates a unique experience that feels both nostalgic and fresh. While the movie's slow pace and unconventional style may not appeal to everyone, for those seeking a surreal and emotionally charged adventure, I saw the TV glow is definitely worth a try. Uglies. Time for you to make a choice. At number 4, Uglies, directed by MCG, premieres on Netflix on September 13th. Based on Scott Westerfeld's novel, this dystopian drama stars Joey King as Tally Youngblood. Set in a future where teens undergo mandatory cosmetic surgery at age 16 to become pretties, the story follows Tally as she eagerly awaits her transformation. But when her friend Shay introduces her to a rebellious community that rejects the surgery, Tally finds herself torn between conforming to society's ideals and embracing a different path. Smoke has decided their way of living is more worthy than ours. As she faces life-changing decisions, Uglies dives deep into themes of beauty, identity, and societal control. While she may be safe for now, Tally hasn't escaped those determined to make her pretty. Apartment 7A. This is so much bigger than me, and I can't run from it. This is a role you were born to play. At number 3 is Apartment 7A, a prequel to the 1968 horror classic Rosemary's Baby, premiering on Paramount Plus starting September 27th. Starring Julia Garner from Inventing Anna and Ozark and directed by Natalie Erica James, the film takes us back to the events at the Bramford Building before Rosemary's story. <laughs> Set in 1965 New York City, Garner plays Terry Ginofrio, a young dancer who faces dark forces after a tragic injury. The cast also includes Diane Wiest, Jim Sturgis, and Kevin McNally. His three daughters. But there are three of you. You know, different types of people. But I my dad too. 
over there dying. At number two is His Three Daughters, directed by Azazel Jacobs, featuring a stellar cast that includes Natasha Lyon, Carrie Coon, and Elizabeth Olsen. The film centers on three estranged sisters who reunite to care for their dying father over the course of a few intense days. Their story is one of contrasts, filled with sadness, yet layered with love, as they navigate complex emotions in a cramped New York apartment. As they confront their troubled past and present, tensions flare, but moments of humor also find their way through the cracks. But they don't. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? Premiering at the 2023 Toronto International Film Festival, the film has been praised for its emotionally resonant performances. Netflix acquired the worldwide rights for $7 million, with plans to release the film in select theaters on September 6th, followed by a global Netflix release on September 20th. Will and Harper. All I want to do is live. Coming in at number one, Will and Harper is a heartfelt road trip documentary. Premiering on Netflix on September 27th, it features Will Ferrell and his longtime friend, Harper Steele. After Harper came out as a trans woman, the two set off on a cross-country journey from New York to LA, revisiting places that shaped their 30-year friendship. Premiering at the 2024 Sundance Film Festival, the film blends laughter, tears, and deep conversations. I'm not really afraid of these people. Directed by Josh Greenbaum, it captures powerful moments of reflection and discovery as Will and Harper reconnect with each other and the world around them. If you enjoyed our picks for the new releases in September, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Want even more movie recommendations? Check out the video description for links to our other content. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos.